okay. I mean, I think everybody saw that we played well. It's just uh, we really compared that. Um, so that was pretty, did really, really well. I think big compliment to our defense. Um, from the goalkeeper, starting from Ali Ziki, with the defensive line, uh, Ali Duseidu, uh, um, uh, Salisu, Jiku, uh, Gideon Menza, for not allowing their opponents too many counter-attacks, and not allowing them to, to have too many chances. Um, and um, those chances they had, they defended well, and uh, yeah, also a big, big compliment to our defensive midfielders, who really, Elisha Wilson, except exceptional for me. But also Lidu Sadio exceptional. And then also Ibrahim Sulemana in his first game from, from the beginning. And we controlled everything. Um, the only thing which was missing was the, was the goals. And surely we have to work on this. We have uh, some few days to, to analyze it, how we can score better. Um, the chances were there. Um, a lot of chances. Um, but uh, this is football. This is football sometimes very, very hard, difficult for us. Um, so now it paints even more. The Niger game paints even more, and also the last minute goal against Angola paints even more because today again we did well and there's nothing much I can I can I can say and um, just the result and this is the most important thing in football. It's not correct and um, I think we deserve to win, but we didn't, and we will stay positive and we will beat them away with the same performance, the same passion, the, the same creativity up front. We will beat them away. Please, um, let's, let's have your questions. The coach, um, even if you know the rate of commitment, I was lacking in today's game. No. Next question. Um, Kelvin. The defensive worries. Of conceding 10 goals in the previous games, six games, or this is the seventh one, has been sorted out. How then would you work on this team to be able to at least take their chances to score a lot more? Because today in the final third, so many chances, but it looks like that, you know, vibe and, you know, vibrancy from the team to finish off the opportunities was missing. Surely we will try to uh, train finishing. And give them confidence. That's all. This was the only thing which was missing. The spirit was good. The passion was there. The defensive discipline was there. It's just about to finish the actions. That's all. You know, that's all. And uh, yeah, Sudan was very lucky today. And um, next time we see them um, in Libya, they won't be lucky. Then we will. That's all. Coach, um, I'm Steve. Daily Guide Network. Um, Stephen Kukwa, sorry, from Daily Guide Network. Um, it's been 20 years we failed to qualify for the AFCON. The last time was in 2004, if I remember. Look at how we started. We picked two points from possible nine. How much of a worry is it to you as a coach leading the Black Stars, knowing that we could be facing another uh, issue of not qualifying for the World Cup, especially uh, for the AFCON, especially when our record at the Babar has to be taken Okay. I'm not interested in any records or whatsoever. I want to win the next game, and then the world looks different. That's all. And uh, all these statistics and this and that. Yeah. Okay. It's like that. So, what can I do? We can only look forward and look for the next match and try to score it. That's all. You no, know, we will try as much as today, and then it will be rewarded. But that's all I can say. No. Good evening, coach. Uh, my name is Nanache, I arrived for Preside Web GH. Um, an improved game today, but in our next game, we definitely need to win to be sure of qualifying to the next outcome. This is the camera. Look through the camera and give some assurance to Ghanaian that going away, you are definitely going to win. <laughs> Look, this assurance, what everybody's talking about, is why? For what? You know, for this is football. And I cannot even assure, maybe God will take me tomorrow, I'm, I'm dead. You know, what, what can I assure? We will try our best. And I know that at the end we'll be rewarded. And the positive thing is, what I want to tell, 
tell you, all of you, it's still in our own hands. We have to win the next game. That's all. You know, we have to win the next game, and then still, we are not qualified then. Then it's still a long way. You know, it's, it's going to be very, very tough to the last match, I think. But we'll do it. With this performance, again, we'll do it at, uh, in Libya against Sudan. No. Okay, coach. My name is Ibrahim Yako. I work with GH News. Uh, looking at, uh, before we played this game, we saw some changes in the captaincy. When the day, uh, when Jordan, uh, it was Jordan, are you supposed to have been the captain? Sorry, sorry. I won't take that question. Please move on to the next person, please. Look, uh, the coach decides. It's okay. So, okay. It's okay. No, the coach decides who is the captain. And let's, I decide. Let's move on to the next question, please. Okay. Coach. Um, football is guided by history and statistics. First of all, my name is Samuel Bell from Bishan Wonderful. My name is Samuel Bell from Bishan Wonderful. A realm of football is guided by history and statistics. Before this game, were you aware that Ghana had only drawn with Sudan for once? And that uh, it was on the 10th of October 2010. Today is on the 10th of October 2024, 14 years. Were you aware that it was, that, was, I mean, that uh, history governing this game? No. Please bring the microphone to this side. Yeah, Coach, uh, my name is Cappuccino, Movement TV. Uh, I would like to find out from you, looking at the Sudanese side that you play with today, uh, how do you rate them? Do you see them to be a threat to Ghana going to our way? Every team is a threat, and they did well in defending today, especially the goalkeeper did well. And uh, like I said, um, if we are a little bit more clever and using our chances, we would have won today, and this is what we need to work on. Yeah. Their performance, I think we were better. I'm, and I'm looking at my team, and I think we were good. They, the goalkeeper defended well. But we created so many chances, I can't say they had a good performance. The only good thing they had is the point they, they took. And uh, there we have to work on it. So without sport, like I said before, we have to work on winning games, and we have to win the next game to stay in the uh, in the race. Yes, Coach, my name is Debate from Girls on YouTube. I followed your team quite well. This is one of them games where everything was right, from how the players pressed high up the pitch. The players gave everything on the pitch, but it's one of them games when it ends in a zero-zero. Moments like that tends to hit the players well, and in most cases, it's a bit difficult to get them to play similar style or give more like that in the next game in your opinion how difficult will it be to get them to play like that because i believe maybe our next game will be more psychological than getting the players to be more tactical yeah very good question it's yeah it's a psychological game and uh, we have to be fearless we have to believe in ourselves because these kind of games um sometimes take especially from young players like they believe in themselves to score whatever we have to have to keep our heads up um, and that's what I told everyone now. So they did well, and uh, at the end we'll be rewarded. We have to believe in ourselves. We will train finishes, intelligent finishes, intelligent finishes, and then we will score them. The last question, and then we'll, we'll be done. All right, Coach Masayo, Scanning TV. Yes, today, as we all saw, the team actually showed up more than what we've been seeing the recent times. But creating the opportunity to be able to to finish off those chances, do you think we need? Any new striker or strikers in the team, or the field, you look at the moment. Thank you. No, I think they showed an international on, on, on every level that they can score, all of them, and I believe in them that they will score the next game. Thank you very much, colleagues. Uh, uh, I think the Sudan coach is next. Oh, you have to be already.